the next breeding ground for the devil is unbelief doubt which give rise to arguments confusions assumptions which are against the word of god the word of god says in james chapter 1:6 to 8 but those who ask me let him ask in faith with no doubting if for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the lord because he is a double minded man unstable in all his ways hallelujah do you understand the doubt in your heart makes you unstable you become unstable you become double minded so many times we have faith in our heart when god gives us a promise we believe that god is able to do it but next to that faith there is a small question how how will he do it is it really possible he said he will make me fruitful but i am already 40 years old he said he will give me a job but i do not have any qualification he said he will give me the right person in marriage but i am not beautiful he said he will use me in his work for his glory in his service but i do not know how to preach how to sing how to talk a doubt a doubt against the faith you know that god will do it but there is a question which is arising next to the faith how how is it possible hallelujah and the word of god is saying matthew chapter 21 verse 21 jesus is saying like this assuredly i say to you if you have faith and do not doubt you will not only do what was done to the fig tree but you would also say to this mountain to move to be removed and to be cast into the sea and it will be done hallelujah here jesus is saying if you have faith not just that and also do not doubt there are two requisites for the mountain to be moved in your life one is you must have faith second thing is there must be no doubt attached to your faith two things jesus is saying particularly you must have faith but you must have only faith no longer a doubt in your heart hallelujah faith attached with no doubt causes miracles amen see here in mark chapter 11 verse 23 the word of god goes on saying assuredly i say to you whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done he will have whatever he says amen amen how beautiful is this he says whatever you are believing believe it with all your heart and give no space to the doubt because you have 90% of faith and 10% of doubt that also is dangerous you have 99% of faith and you have 1% of doubt that 1% of doubt is enough to become a breeding ground for the devil to deceive you hallelujah hallelujah so here jesus is saying very clearly it's good to have faith but it's not good to have doubt attached to your faith two things for you to see the glory of god in your life faith with unattached doubt hallelujah have faith but make no room for the doubt faith with doubt is dangerous you can have faith but when you also have doubt in your heart it becomes a breeding ground for the devil to launch his fiery darts inside you and why does this doubt actually arise in us you know there are two main reasons why people tend to doubt firstly it is because of the natural pattern of thinking which they carry we are trained to think naturally aren't we our education system our families our environment in which we are growing the society to whom we are exposed the people the work culture the things that we meant to 
we come in touch with in our day to day lives the atmosphere in where we are naturally residing a growing in place which actually promotes the natural thinking in us we think naturally act naturally we see naturally we believe naturally we move naturally and we also have faith only in the natural things this system has made us to believe only when we see we believe only when we see we believe only when we have it we believe only if we if it is given it into our hands only if it is in our eyes we believe it only if we see it materially naturally we believe that it is there hallelujah but on contrary the word of god says is the children of god are the ones who do not walk by sight but by faith they don't they are not moved by what they see what they hear naturally what they think naturally what they assume naturally but they move by what the word of god is telling to them hallelujah that is why so many people who are addicted to thinking naturally you know they walk naturally they depend so much on the things of the world that they are not able to believe the promises of the lord that's why the doubt arises inside them they say how you know the jericho walls falling by the praises of the people is certainly how the red sea parting is certainly a big how to the natural realm it becomes a big question mark people say how is it possible god is working against the nature working against the law working against the physics the chemistry which is designed in the nature hallelujah the natural mind cannot understand the things of the spirit we have to understand this the natural mind will doubt the natural mind will always carry a how in his heart in her heart they would always question the promises of god they would always question the ways of god they would always say yes spirituality is a part of life walking according to the spirit is a part of life but it's not the complete life spirituality is always a part of life for them they say we should make equal efforts in the natural realm also so that the spiritual things will be fruitful in us how true is it if you walk by faith you would rely on spirit alone hallelujah because when god does it through the spirit the flesh has no glory in it the flesh has no power in it the flesh has no role in it the spirit takes control that's what the word of god says not by might not by power but by the spirit says the lord hallelujah natural mind will always doubt that is one of the reasons why we tend to doubt the worldly pattern see romans chapter 12 to goes on saying that do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind why is it required for our mind to be renewed because we would not believe we would not move we would not act according to what we see our mind has to be renewed according to the word of god then we will be able to start believing in the supernatural things hallelujah hallelujah again second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 5 here paul is saying for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in god pulling down strongholds casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of christ jesus our lord hallelujah hallelujah if you are dealing with doubt if you are dealing with unbelief if you are dealing with lot of assumptions against the will of god if you are dealing with too many things which are arguing against the word of god then the lord is speaking to you only one thing learn to bring all these thoughts as a captive to me hallelujah these thoughts work against the word of god in your life the thoughts of doubt the thoughts of self assumptions 
the thoughts arguing against the power of god in your life god gives you a promise something again in your heart is arguing how is this possible is it really possible are you eligible how is this even these are the arguments which rise against the promises of god in your very mind and the word of god says that learn to bring them to captive to obedience of christ you have to bring your thoughts to submit to christ you have to speak to them i obey the word of god because it's not by me but it's by his spirit and everything is possible to those who believe and do not doubt every time you are showing this faith it's like you are using the shield in the realm of the spirit and every fiery dart of the devil working in this area of doubt will be extinguished hallelujah does this make sense to you does this make sense to you today the devil has managed to steal so many people in faith because not because they do not have faith but because the areas of their doubt are more active than the areas of their faith they doubt more than they have to have faith little faith more doubt little belief more unbelief do you know unbelief is very dangerous unbelief is evil thing in the sight of the lord unbelief is something which is against the word of god against the faith and the devil uses them as a breeding ground to work against your very own promises hallelujah so today learn to bring every thought as a captive to christ make your thoughts to obey the lord face your thoughts with the word of god reject the thoughts of the devil with the word of god because if you overcome in the thought level you save lot of time from the consequences of the sin those who overcome in the thought level will save themselves from lot of loss both natural loss and spiritual loss hallelujah you know this is the second area where the devil uses most of his fiery darts to work the area of doubt unbelief